welcome back to my channel I feel like I look a little crazy right here because like half of my makeup is done but um, I want to review a new concealer so that's what we're gonna be doing today this is a new drugstore concealer this is the new Maybelline Superstay active wear concealer I love their Superstay foundation so when I saw they came out the concealer I was like oh I gotta try it so if you guys want to see what I think about it and how it performs then please keep watching so it says here, Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Liquid Concealer is full coverage and delivers up to 30 hours of wear. The matte concealer wipes out dark circles and imperfections. It is transfer resistant, formula provides a second skin feel. So I ended up turning off my big light just because I felt like it was way too bright and I'm sitting too close to the camera so it was like kind of hard to see. Um, so let's go ahead and try this concealer. Half of my side, I'm going to be using my favorite foundation brush. Um, it has a concealer side on the end. I use this all the time for concealer sometimes. And then half of the other side, we're going to use a sponge. I ended up getting mine in the shade 20. Um, so yeah, up to 30 hour wear. I don't know if I could really test that for you guys because I'm not going to be wearing my makeup for 30 hours. Um, but it's nice to know that, you know, you have options. So I'm just going to go ahead and the spoolie is nice and tiny, which I really like to get into the dark circles and I'm taking a good amount. So it says it's supposed to be full coverage. As I'm applying, it is super creamy. I'm only going to do that much because I don't want to do too much just in case um, a little goes a long way like the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to take the end of my brush. And I like to push it into the skin. This is what I normally do with this. I like to push it into the skin. It's really opening my under eyes. And then I like to tap it in. This looks really nice. Really brightened up my under eyes. It's definitely full coverage. I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. This is not one of those things where a little goes a long way. I feel like you really can use a good amount of it without it getting cakey. It's going on super creamy. And I'm just going to push it into the skin. Look how it's opening up my under eyes. And it's definitely full coverage. Definitely lightweight. I feel like it doesn't look sticky. I feel like it's kind of like self-drying. Even though like I still have to set my concealer. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply it on this side. It is so creamy, but I do feel like you need to like go in there a couple of times to really get the product. Now, normally when I use my Tarte Shape Tape, I don't need this this much product because a little goes a long way with that, um, where I can literally just put one drop and it blends all of this. This product, I feel like you do need to use that amount if you like a lot of product. So I'm going to go ahead with my sponge now and just push it into the skin. And we're going to see how this looks. This is a really nice concealer. It's So it looks the same on both sides. Am I blurred? No. It looks the same on both sides. Whether you use a brush or a um, sponge, they look exactly the same. There's not one difference. This side of my face where I went in with the second layer, it looks like it. I set it. Like, it looks like there's powder on my face. Yeah, so this is definitely full coverage. It is definitely full coverage. It is definitely matte. It's definitely everything it's claiming to be. It is very matte, um, but it's not matte where it's, like, drying. Like, it doesn't feel heavy. It definitely feels lightweight, feels breathable, um, but it looks set already. So I'm a little nervous if I set my under eyes if it's going to look cakey. Just because I swear my under eyes look set like they it looks like there's powder underneath my eyes already so i don't know it's not sticky it's not tacky or anything like that um but i just feel like i still need to set my under eyes just that's just like what i need to do when i do my makeup um and i'm just a little nervous that it's gonna look cakey because right now it looks like there's already powder on it so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and we'll be right back with my final thoughts hello everybody welcome back i went ahead and finished the rest of my face i was filming a bunch of reviews today so it's been a few hours since i applied my concealer and now i'm just filming all my outros so let's get into my final thoughts on the new maybelline superstay active wear concealer 
Um, this is a super matte concealer. Now, it's not matte where it feels drying, but I have somewhat oily skin, especially oily T-zone I get. I feel if you have dry under eyes, you may not like this just because it is super matte, which if you are oily, you're gonna love this because it really contained all my oils. It's been about like four hours since I applied this. I know, I know my YouTube video has only been like a second, but I did this about four hours ago. Um, I did a bunch of reviews in between, like my hair, my brows, my lips, um, and then my camera died. I had to let it charge for an hour. So it's been, a, it's been a while since I applied this concealer. If you have oily skin, I think you are going to love this. It is full coverage. It is mattifying. Um, it's like a self setter in my opinion. It doesn't claim to be a self setter, but it really like my under eyes were completely set. I did go in with a little powder. I used my uh, my Ilia powder, but like very little. I kind of just like tapped it and put it underneath my eye just because I have to. I need to set my concealer, but my under eyes were like pretty much set already. They were super like set already. It was not tacky. It was not sticky underneath my eyes. I do think if I would have went in with like either baking or just like extra powder than I used, I think I would have looked a little cakey underneath my eyes just because it is very matte and it does dry very quickly where I personally kind of think you may not even need to set it. I wanted to set it just because... I don't know, I just, I can't not set my concealer, you know what I mean? I feel though if you have dry under eyes or if you just get dryness, you know, anywhere where you would apply concealer, I don't think you're going to love this. If you are super oily and you like to look super matte and mattifying and blurred, you're going to love this. This is a really, really nice concealer. Basically is everything it claimed to be. Full coverage, mattifying, um, lightweight, it's super lightweight, like even though it's super mattifying and it's super full coverage, it doesn't feel heavy. Like my Tarte Shape Tape that, you know, my holy grail that I always talk about is my favorite. It's pretty heavy if you put too much. It does feel like you're wearing um, a good amount of makeup. This, however, does not feel like that. It's kind of like the total opposite. Kind of, It's kind of the same effect, like super full coverage. Um, I will say a little does not go a long way with this. You do need quite a bit to get that coverage, whereas like Tarte Shape Tape, like one dot covers a whole area. So I personally, I mean, you guys saw how much I applied. I did use quite a bit to get that full coverage. You don't need that much if you just want to brighten up your under eyes, but I wanted, um, I wanted the full full coverage. I mean, this feels exactly like their Superstay foundation. I reviewed that. I think that came out what? two years ago, maybe even longer. I reviewed that on my channel where I got the wrong shade completely. Whoever has seen that, let me know. Um, but I reviewed it anyways, even though it was the wrong shade. It was super mattifying and this is exactly like it. So that is my final thoughts on the new Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Concealer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are not already, please don't forget to subscribe before you go. I will see you all in my next video.